After Thursday's day off from racing and a chance to have their batteries recharged, the 112 sailors competing in the star class were back on the racetrack for the fourth day of racing here at the Bacardi Cup 2013. Let's hear from the second in these series so far from the Italian crew, Freethoff Clean, about their plans for today. We expect like uh, 9 to 10 knots, uh, north easterly breeze, turning right. Uh, we are second overall now uh, with Diego Negri together and uh, of course our goal is to win this event. So we will uh, try to do everything to finish another two times top five. And I think that would be a solid, uh, solid uh, result to be at least top three until tomorrow and close the gap to Las Grael who is uh, doing a tremendous job here so far and uh, he is an unbelievable sailor and shows off his skills here in Barcali Cup. The first race started with the French world champion Xavier Rohar and his crew Serge Pulfer edging ahead to windward and able to blanket the boats beneath them. Many of the boats beneath the French had tacked immediately after the start to head for the right side of the course where the wind seemed to have more pressure. Amongst this pack were the overall series leaders Lars Grau and Marco Lagoa along with the Canadians Stuart Hebb and Mark Strube. Holding the points advantage going in today, Graal and Lagoa just had to sail a safe race to retain their position. Continuing to head upwind, the French kept guard and watched, holding their position ahead of the pack. Rohar and Pulfer rounded the windward mark first, having benefited from a significant wind shift to the right which pushed home their advantage. The shift was so significant that the race committee was forced to move the mark for the next leg of the course. Chasing hard behind the French pair in second place were the German team of Hubert Merkelbach and Gerrit Bartel, who were on track to post their best results of the series. For the Italians, Diego Negri and Freethoff Klein, things were looking a little certain as they struggled to maintain a position at the front of the pack and round it outside the top 10, potentially putting their second overall going into day up for grabs. Due to the shift, soon the majority of the fleet had jibed and headed to the right side of the course to find more pressure. Merkelbach and Bartel were pushing hard, but not yet able to catch the leading pace setters of Rohar and Pulfer. Rohar and Pulfer desperately wanted a race win to pull themselves back up into the top three overall, and with some of the series leaders further back in the pack, it was a great opportunity for the French. At the downwind gate, the French rounded without any trouble and chose the right mark to again head up the side of the track which had paid dividends in the first upwind leg. They were followed by the Germans. Taking an opposite line were Mark Mendelblatt and Brian Fati, who chose to round the other gate and head to the left to try to eat into the leader's advantage. Further back, Zabo and Liladel were battling it out with Negri and Clean, who had sailed an exceptional downwind leg to put themselves in the top 10 and back into the game. Graal and Lagoa were the first to tack and cover Mendelblatt and Fati, who had not actually gained by heading left. Rohar and Pulfer continued to cover the Germans from a safe distance, not giving them any window to jump ahead. The Germans got the message, and understanding they were not going to overtake the French, focused on securing their second place in the fleet and tacked to cross ahead of the boats that were on the left side of the course. Soon the French were rounding the weather mark, having extended their lead so much that the race win was assured. But it was the Germans who were now in trouble, with the USA's Thomas Hornos and Joshua Revkin in front of them and the Germans in third. But the most remarkable show continued to come from the Italians, Negri and Clean, whose upwind performance saw them chip away at the fleet and climb up to fourth overall at the windward mark. Into the final downwind leg, and they continued their attack catching the Americans whilst the Germans sailed deeper to the right. It was only a matter of time before the Italians had gone clear ahead of Hornos and Revkin and now had their sights on the German team. They jibed quite a few times trying to gain from every gust and shift they could and were soon boat to boat with the Germans as they headed towards the finish line. Rohar and Pulfer were crossing the line, but not that far ahead of the battle unfurling behind them as the Italian-German teams pushed at each other's advantage. In the end, it was the Germans who crossed ahead and in a typical show of camaraderie congratulated their Italian rivals for the battle well fought 
and impressive sailing which gave them a third place finish. The rest of the fleet followed with Mendelblatt and Fonti taking fourth place and the series leaders Graal and Lagoa in sixth. The second race of the day followed with the wind really shifty and some surprise outcomes on the track and shuffling in the leaderboard. The top five teams now only have six points between them and the last race scheduled for tomorrow will determine the winner. Do not miss it!